You want to know more about the Max Drive by Wise? Let's get into the details. Hey, thanks for joining me. My name's Josh. This is the Gross Tech Show. Thank you again so much for stopping by. This is a video in response to the last one. You guys wanted more information about what the Max Drive was and more details and not just, hey, it's coming, basically. So we reached out to Wise and actually got to talk with Max and about the Max Drive and everything. And so I've got notes i've got stuff here for you to know about what is this max drive all about what are the specifications some details that maybe we didn't know beforehand and kind of make the muddy water a little bit more clear so first off it is a single hard drive bay caddy it only does one hard drive it takes three and a half to two and a half size hard drive so your main uh, internal hard drives for your desktop all the way down to laptop size hard drives and it can be hard drive hard disk drives or it can be solid state drives. so it can take either of them uh, the interface is SATA 3.0 which is nice uh, on the back of the actual max drive is just a power cord and a gigabit Ethernet it does not do any wireless or Bluetooth any kind of other connection other than that gigabit connection now this thing is going to be sold without the hard drive. So you will have to provide your own hard drive for this NAS, uh, for the Max drive. And you can have anywhere from, you know, the smallest, I mean, you could really don't go any lower than 250 gigs, all the way up to 12 terabytes of storage is what you're able to have in the Max drive. Now WISE has not technically said what the price is on this, a lot of people are saying 69 bucks, a lot of people are saying 70, somewhere around there, but we are for sure have been told that it will be under $100 for just the unit itself. So under $100 for the unit plus buying the hard drive itself, uh, I mean, it's still gonna be a whole lot cheaper than what a NAS is. All right, the other big thing that is different than what I originally thought and told you guys was this is going to be a backup only and right now as of this recording wise can only back up from the sd card so you still have to have micro sd cards in every single one of your cameras and what it does is it will back up from those sd cards to the max drive you know in the future they want to be able to change that to where you can record straight to that single hard drive in the max drive from multiple cameras now they have tested this up to 10 cameras and they have not had any issues uh, they've already said that there's not a limit on how many cameras you can back up to your max drive now the max drive will have its own separate app uh, the max drive app basically you will still be able to view the footage in both the max drive app and the wise cam app uh, and they're working on getting it all, you know, partnered with and all the branding and all that stuff changed. Uh, but right now you can right now download the Max Drive app, uh, but it's still owned by Max Drive and it's not, you know, branded for Wise yet. Uh, but they're working on it and you will actually be able to sign in with your Wise account login information to the Max Drive app uh, once they get all that branding and and a authentication to where it crosses over and you don't have to have two different passwords and stuff like that you will have just one wise cam password that will be able to get you into the wise cam app but also be able to get into the max drive app the nice thing is the max drive app can right now i mean as it stands and in the future you can use it to back up your pictures your documents you know, as a personal cloud, as a personal NAS uh, to be able to back things up to. So it's not just for the wise cams and backing those SD cards up to it, but you will be able to use this as a standalone uh, NAS for your home and your own personal stuff. 
The nice thing is you can make these backups to the Max Drive to be scheduled. So it's an automatic backup at a specific time that you want it to be. Uh, so you know when your bandwidth you know, and everything in your house is kind of low, usually overnight. Uh, so you can actually have that backup happen when you know it is good to be done on your network. The really amazing part of this is the Max Drive app is available on iOS and Android just like the Wise Cam app, but it's also available on Windows, Mac, and there's going to be a web portal. So you're going to be able to connect and watch what's on the Max Drive and view files and things like that on the Max Drive from literally anything, your computer, from your phone, your tablets, uh, or just a web browser itself. All right, so what features does the Max Drive have? Uh, well, honestly, it will have the same features as the SD cards have right now. You'll be able to have continuous recording. It will be able to do all those things, but again, it is just gonna be a backup of the SD cards at this time when it's released. Uh, when they are able to record straight to the hard drive itself without the SD cards, then you'll still, again, be able to have the recording features uh, I have the extended event recordings, continuous recordings, and time-lapse video recording will be available and be able to be used by the Max Drive. So the really nice thing, and supposedly you'll be able to back up using your own NAS. So if you already have a NAS, you can use the Max Drive app. Again, I don't know, I haven't tested this, but we're told that you can actually back up the SD cards and everything from Wise cams to your own NAS using the Max Drive app. Now, uh, again, I haven't tested this, but with the partnership between Wise and Max Drive going on, once they get that all rebranded and everything set, uh, I, I imagine that will be an option and you'll be able to do and have that backup uh, to whatever NAS that you have already if you don't have the Max Drive. Now, of course, they are aiming for this to be quarter one, quarter two release date of this year, 2019. So we'll, uh, they're working on the software side and the programming side of it. The, the actual unit is already mainly done. Uh, so it's, it's just a matter of time and hopefully it'll be coming out in the quarter one of this year, 2019. So I hope you enjoyed this video that you got all the details that literally we know about the Max Drive. There's there's not not much else. I had a couple other questions I sent them, uh, like what's the actual physical size of the device? I know it's obviously big enough to house a three and a half size uh, hard drive, uh, but it doesn't look too much bigger. It kind of reminds me of like the Google Home uh, size wise, but I'd, I'd like to know what size it is. And again, I, I asked and he kind of mentioned about viewing the stuff. Do you view it in the Max Drive app? Do you view it in the WiseCam app? And what he said was backed up WISE footage will be viewable through the WISE app. Obviously, I'm assuming you can still view it through the Max Drive app as well, but you can and will be able to view it in the WISE Cam app itself. So really what I'm seeing and thinking and assuming is the Max Drive app is gonna be there to set it all up, get it all configured and everything like that. Once that's finished, you can use the WISE Cam app to view anything, view the events, uh, see the backups and things like that. So again, once the partnership and all the rebranding and everything is done, it'll be easier to know what will be available, what will be different right now from the current Max Drive app that's out there right now versus what will be out there when it's the Waze Max Drive app. So we'll be looking forward to those. If you've got any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed getting, again, these more information on details for the WiseCam Max Drive. Uh, this is as much information that I could possibly get from them right now. They're, they're, you know, it's not out yet, so they don't want to say these everything for sure because things could change between now and when it's released. So keep that in mind, but I hope you had a good time watching the video. My name's Josh, and I will see you in the next episode. God bless you guys. This was the Gross Tech Show. Bye. Hey, thanks so much for
for watching the video. Before you click away, I hope you enjoyed this one. And what I did was over here, if you can see these two videos, the one at the top here is specifically picked out just for you. It's, it doesn't work for anybody else but you. So make sure you check out that video. If you have already seen that one, check down below. I have another video right below it that I think would be a great one for you to watch. So thank you again for stopping by. I'm going to get out of here because it's freezing cold in this shed. See ya!